Hello. This video is about how to use Google Forms to schedule a test. It means we can automatically start a test at a specific time. And once that uh, test duration is over, we can uh, complete the test automatically. Let us go to the video now. So to schedule a test, we need a starting time and the ending time. So I am scheduling the test for tomorrow, which is 28th of November 2020, which is 2.30 p.m. And I want to complete the test by 3 p.m. So this is my start and this is my end time. I have created a small Google uh, form for conducting a test. I am not going into details of uh, how to create a Google form for conducting a test. I am assuming that you know that already. What we are going to discuss now is how to schedule this form for a given date and time. Uh, conventionally, we used to control the way students access this form is by going to responses and uh, toggling this switch on and off. So if you toggle this switch off, uh, this form will no longer accept any responses from the students. And once you turn this on, uh, the students can access this form and start answering the questions. So traditionally, we used to share the Google form to students and we used to turn this on and off in the exact uh, date and time of the test manually, which is what we are going to automate now. To do that, go to the top right hand corner uh, where you have three vertical dots, select that and then go to script editor. This script editor uh, will enable you to automate certain things in this form by virtue of developing a small piece of source code, which is what I am going to do now. So I'm going to write two simple functions. So for the first function is starting a test. So I call that as start test. Uh, the second function is used for completing the test. So I call that as stop uh, or close test. So these are the two functions which I uh, I'm going to write. Uh, I, I, I'll give this uh, source code in the description box which you can copy and paste in the code window. I'm just doing this for your understanding. So I just create a small variable for uh, getting the form. So my form and assign this to form app dot get active form. So this will assign the active form to this my form variable. Later you can take that my form variable and then uh, control that to set accepting responses. So in this case, uh, start test should enable that particular uh, uh, form. So I make it true. And uh, the same thing I just copy paste in the uh, close test function with this as false. So these two functions will enable that, uh, you know, responses on and off in a programmatic manner. Let us uh, test and validate whether that is working uh, or let us uh, view this form uh, as of now it is in enabled mode uh, I go to the function I just first run the uh, closed test uh, function so in order to run that Google will ask you to review the permissions uh, by using your email ID you just uh, accept that so if you run this uh, closed test function and if you go there and then refresh this form and you can see that the form has been disabled by the source code that we have written. And in order to enable this form again, I wanted to uh, use the start test function. So I go to start test function and I run this. Uh, if you now go this and uh, refresh here, uh, the form is enabled. So to disable that again, you can close this test and then run this form. And if you refresh this, you can see that the form is disabled. So by running this uh, form st uh, functions start test and close test, we can uh, enable and disable that form, thereby control how students should access, uh, access that form. 
uh, the challenge here is we need to run this uh, start test and uh, close test functions in the exact time instant uh, of uh, when you have scheduled the test. Uh, in this case, I have scheduled this test on 28th November 2020 at uh, 2.30 p.m. And I want to close the test at 3 p.m. Let us see how to do that. So in the top section of your uh, code window, you have options for uh, adding a trigger. A trigger is an event. So let us add a trigger uh, for my functions. So I have two functions. So in the bottom section, you have the option for adding the trigger. So click add trigger. Uh, the first one is which, uh, which function you want to add. Let us do the start test first and then um, choose which deployment should run. Head is the constant one which can have that. What kind of event source you want? There are three options available. We want to take time driven. So in the time driven, you have a variety of ways. In that, I am choosing the first one, specific date and time, which means that function will be executed in the exact date and time of my choice. So in this case, I'm entering the date and time, the format it is given. Uh, 2020 followed by the month which is 11 followed by the day which is 28 28 followed by a space followed by the exact time 2 30 pm which is 14 hours and 30 minutes so once you do that and then click save uh, we have successfully added a trigger for the uh, start test function Similarly, we have to add another trigger for close test, but in this case at 3 p.m. So let us go to add trigger again. Uh, the function name is close test and the head is same. Uh, the event source in this case is time driven. And again, go to a specific date and time. So in this case, you enter the uh, year is 2020, month is 11 and the day is 28. Time in this case is 15 hours and zero minutes because I want to close the test at 3 p.m. So I click save. Right, so we have successfully added two triggers. One is close test, another one is start test. Start test will be exec exactly executed at 2.30 p.m. And uh, close test will be executed exactly at 3 p.m which will enable the students uh, to start and close the test in the time instant that you wanted. Uh, make sure that when you are sharing the Google form to students, you are disabling this and then sharing it. Otherwise they can uh, see the form and then access your questions. So this way you can actually automate and uh, time uh, schedule a Google form for conducting a test. Hope this helps you. Have a good day.